Welcome back to another Unreal Engine 4 tutorial and in today's episode we shall be working on our destructibles a little bit more. So essentially if we place walls or something like that along these, these places, you will see that. Let's place a door as well. So that's like a double hierarchy kind of a thing. So if we now destroy this, boom, that wall gets destroyed. As you can see this actor gets destroyed. Then we can go ahead and destroy this piece as well. And now if we do it, destroy this one, you can see everything from here also got destroyed as well. Uh, so yeah, uh, let's get started. So the first thing that we need to figure out is how we are going to get the reference to the uh, so-called parent buildable. Uh, so that if we attach, let's say, like a window to a wall, uh, so that once we destroy the wall, so that the window would go away so we need to tell that wall hey listen uh, this window that we just built that's a child of yours so if you get destroyed you gotta take that actor with you so that it wouldn't float in the air essentially so uh, first let's have a quick look inside of our build component because we're going to be doing some of the things inside of here and uh, what i want you to have a look at is your build cycle so this is the thing that gets ran constantly whenever we are inside of the build mode and whenever we hit some kind of an object we actually store that object inside of a variable called hit actor also we are storing the component that we hit hit uh, but most importantly we store the actor that we have hit so actually we can use this even though maybe we have hit a different actor as long as it doesn't have the build interface which has the uh, deal damage event uh, attached to it uh, it should be fine because it's not going to run there but everybody who has it will receive this event and it's going to run there so uh, i'm going to show you a couple of methods how we can also adjust this thing a little bit uh, but first let's just set it up so that it works uh, so that it basically works so we have this hit actor so we need to pass it along to the buildable that we are about uh, not, that, not, not the one that we are about to build, but uh, the one that we are using to attach the build to, basically. So, uh, let's not make this too complicated. Let's go ahead and let's set up a couple of things. So, first, let's go to our build master. Because our build master essentially needs to hold uh, these children. So, let's go ahead, let's add ourselves a variable. And let's call this build children. Okay. So that's that. Let's make this into an actor type because those are actors. Those children will be actors. And let's make this into an array since, well, it's going to hold multiple children in here. So uh, that's going to be the variable which is going to hold all of those. So now we need to pass this information to this specific buildable. So to do so, again, lovely build interface is going to come into play here. And we are going to create ourselves a new function. So this function is going to be called add build child now we need a single input which is an actor actor i'm going to call this actor and this is going to be an actor's type because we are passing along a actor that uh, which is this child so once we have done this back in our build master we have this event available to us so i'm just going to go ahead and create this event add child event add build child so we have this event and what we are going to do is simply drag in our build children drag from that and add like so as simple as that then just connect the pins like this so actor goes in here so it basically adds uh, that actor's reference inside of our array so uh, that is good now we actually need to run this thing and where do we run this thing is by going back to our build component where we actually do the spawn build where we actually create the build and then once we are done with the build, we can go ahead and we can do the add build child message like so. Now the target is not the actor that we just spawned, but the target is the actor that we hit before we spawned uh, our buildable. So our hit actor is going to be the target and the actor that we are going to add as a child is the one that we just built. So let's grab its reference and let's plug it in. So now basically whatever actor that we just looked at is going to get notified that, hey, listen, this actor that we just built is now your child. So let's compile and save that. So that's going to be good. 
Now, the next thing that we need to do is now we need to go ahead and destroy all the children if we are destroying the parent. Now, to do so, we can go back to our build master now and we have the event deal damage. So at the end over here, we are destroying our build actor, all good. But, well, there is a couple of issues. First and foremost, the actor does not get destroyed at all. Uh, so we're going to do that as well. But first, let's destroy also the children as well. Now for that, once we are over here, let's bring in our build children. Let's get those. And let's do a loop for each. So let's go through all the children this actor has because we don't want no floaty objects left behind. We want to destroy everything that was connected to this piece. So uh, let's go ahead and from the arrays element, so these are all the other buildables, from these we can run our deal damage message. So it's going to deal the damage to those actors. So essentially it's going to run this thing again. Now, what we want to do with this is we want to provide this big enough damage that, is, that it is absolutely going to destroy that buildable. So to make sure you put in big enough of an amount, go to your buildables database, look at the health value that you have and make sure you put something that is higher than this. So just to be safe, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put this at 999, 999. So it's nearly 1 million health. So nobody, none of my buildables are going to have 1 million health. So whatever is a child is going to instantly get destroyed. Good. So that is done. And now let's make sure that the, uh, the leftovers when the build is getting destructed actually do disappear after a while. So after we have de dealt the damage to the children as well, the loop has been completed. And then let's do a delay. And this is how long the the fragments should stay in the level. So I'm going to say 10 seconds. And then after those seconds, we can go ahead and just simply destroy actor and the actor is going to essentially destroy himself. So, um, yeah, let's give it a shot. So right now it's not going to work exactly with the windows, but we can go ahead and test this with everything else. So I'm not going to place the windows, but I am going to place the doors. So let's go ahead, let's build this. And now if we try to build, uh, try to destroy the foundation, as you can see, all of those actors just got destroyed because the foundation got destroyed and there was nothing that could technically hold this together. Now if we wait 10 seconds, as you can see, all of that disappears. Amazing. Now we have a small issue with this though. Uh, for instance, if we build this, you will see that whenever we destroy the first object, so it's this one right here, all of these objects unfortunately will get destroyed. So now we need to figure out some kind of a way how we can actually keep all of them alive because there's only one actor that we are going to that we are basically going to destroy. And also another issue is that for example, if we build them like so, and we go ahead and we move this to a different location, for example, and destroy. It still destroys that other one, even though they are not even connected anymore. Now, since our foundation is like, a, it's going to be like a separate piece, which can hold itself down, obviously, like a foundation should. It is actually not that difficult to separate the foundations from one another and make sure that, well, whenever we destroy one of them, so that not so that all of them wouldn't get destroyed, essentially. So what we are going to do is go back to our build component. And before we actually add build as a child, we're going to check what build it actually is because we don't want to destroy just any, just basically, we don't want to destroy every single build. So... Uh, there are a couple of ways how we could do this potentially. So one of them is just simply adding a new parameter inside of our as buildables. And I think this would be the most easiest way. So let's call this avoid adding, uh, avoid adding parent, avoid adding as parent. There we go. So we're going to avoid adding this as a parent or maybe we'll, we'll see about the name, but Anyway, regardless of it, uh, this needs to stay as a boolean, so whether it's true or false. So in this situation, we're going to select our foundation and we're going to set this to true. So this is not going to add, be added 
uh, avoid adding as a child rather yeah that would be the name avoid adding as a child because it will be a parent but we're gonna avoid adding this as a child good so now back in everything needs to be recompiled because well it got used so back in our build component whenever we spawn a thing this is what we have this is what we get uh, now we need to figure out a way how we can do this now obviously we are spawning something different but we do have the hit actor so we're going to try to avoid adding it as a child because here we add a child to some kind of a hit actor so we're going to do a we're going to try to figure out how to avoid adding uh, the foundation as a child so for that what i'm actually going to do is copy these nodes once more just so that there's le less routing basically and we're going to do an if branch check over here now if it's going to be set to true we're not going to be doing anything but if it's at false like it by default will be then we are adding that build as a child so now it is going to avoid adding the uh, the foundation to this list so it's not going to destroy the foundations at least it shouldn't so let's give it another test struggling a little bit there we go so we have one two three four let's add a bunch of walls i'm gonna add all, a lot of walls basically so we're gonna add all of these spam the e key event as quick as we can to finish this off and then let's spam the keyboard key too boom and as you can see it destroys all the walls that are related to that specific foundation piece so we have accomplished what we essentially wanted to do so that's really really cool uh let's see so what other things can we do so for example now if we place this thing over here and let's say we have some kind of a different actor we don't have let's imagine this is not a door let's say you have a campfire so now if you would place it over here and now if you destroy this one that campfire is also going to get destroyed now if for some reason you only want this thing this whole uh, parenting destruction thing only to work with the builds that are snapping to it like so then what i want you to do is go to your build cycle and look for the detect build boxes and if it returns false then go ahead and in this location set your hit actor like so and just simply leave it empty and now it's going to forget that reference and this way it is not going to uh, it's not going to destroy anything that is placed on top of it but on the same uh, at the same time i think it should destroy everything so that's why i'm gonna leave it out uh, because i think if something is placed on there it should just collapse because well it has no it has no base to it so it should just fall to the ground at least or something like that uh, because it, otherwise it's just simply going to be floating in the air and that's that's totally not what we actually want so now real quick before we end this off we got to make sure that we do the necessary adjustments for the window as well because as you remember uh, my window does not use the build master it's a separate buildable uh, so you can have as many separate buildables as you want and you can also move these all of these into the build master if you like uh, but I'm gonna have a couple of them separate and later on hopefully I will do some more uh, I will try to add some things from completely different systems as well uh, so uh, let's do that so what we need is this add build child so let's copy this from the master into the window there we go just simply right click your build child create a uh, create a variable out of it and also let's see I think the only other difference is this this loop right here which destroys the build children and does the delay and destroys the actor itself and we want to do exactly the same thing inside of our build window as well so at the end over here add that in and now the windows should be functioning as well so just real quick let's test this out to see if it actually does what it's supposed to do uh, let's add a couple of actors like so there we go finish them off and now if we destroy this as you can see, all of those actors just got destroyed. So yeah, that's going to be it for today's video. If you enjoyed it, make sure to leave a like. Uh, join my Discord. All that good stuff. Links are down in the description box. And I see you in the next one.